China, with its massive land size as the United States, has been locked in a battle for almost a century. But this is not your normal battle with bricks and soldiers. In the 1950s, China underwent rapid urbanization, resulting in unchecked infrastructure development and aggressive alteration of its natural landscape. This extensive transformation left the nation vulnerable to desertification, leading to issues such as wind erosion, soil and water loss, salinization, and rock desertification. Today, these deserts threaten a quarter of China's land area, claiming 15% of its land in just four decades and causing annual economic losses of approximately $50 billion. This struggle against desertification is deeply rooted in China's history, stretching back over 5,000 years. Some argue that the conflict began millions of years ago when the northern deserts of China first began to take shape, cut off from the ocean's moisture as the Indian subcontinent collided with Asia. This geological event led to the formation of the massive Himalayan mountains, as well as a series of smaller mountains and basins that eventually evolved into the deserts of northern China. As China's population grew, the need for food production intensified, leading to the unsustainable exploitation of natural resources. In the mid-1900s, during China's industrialization under communist leader Mao Zedong, the country experienced three significant periods of mass deforestation known as the Three Great Cuttings. This deforestation served two main purposes, to create more farmland to support the burgeoning population and to provide wood for fueling steel furnaces crucial for industrial development. However, this short-sighted approach inadvertently contributed to the expansion of deserts. The consequences of desertification are starkly evident in northern China and its fast-growing cities, where periodic dust storms wreak havoc. These storms carry deadly sand particles, disrupting daily life by forcing school closures, grounding flights, and tinting the sky orange. Beyond the loss of arable land to desertification, China is also losing lives to the desert. The ecological crisis extends beyond deforestation. China boasts a staggering 175 million sheep, more than any other country. Local communities rear these sheep in the arid northern regions, where other livestock struggle to survive. While these sheep offer economic opportunities and are undeniably cute, their overabundance in such harsh environments exacerbates ecological degradation. The voracious appetites of these sheep deplete vegetation faster than it can regenerate, leading to further desertification as the land becomes barren and inhospitable. In essence, China's environmental challenges stem from a complex interplay of factors, including historical land management practices, rapid industrialization, and unsustainable agricultural practices. Addressing these issues requires a multifaceted approach aimed at promoting sustainable development, conservation efforts, and responsible resource management. However, China is not sitting idly by in the face of this environmental challenge. Much like the ancient Great Wall, which stood as a barrier against invaders nearly two millennia ago, the Chinese government launched the Three North Shelter Forest Program, commonly known as the Great Green Wall, aiming to transform deserts into green forests. The initiative, conceived in 1978, involved afforestation efforts spanning 88 million acres of land surrounding the Great Wall of China. Recognizing the need for collective action, the government institutionalized National Tree Planting Day in 1979, reserved for March 12th each year, encouraging citizens nationwide to participate in tree planting activities. Over the past 45 years, China has made remarkable strides in this endeavor. Each year, the country plants trees across an area nearly equivalent to the size of Ireland. These monumental efforts are beginning to yield promising results. Whereas in the early 2000s, the desert expanded by approximately 10,000 square kilometers annually, China is now gaining ground in the battle against desertification, reclaiming over 2,000 square kilometers of desert each year. The methods employed to establish the Great Green Wall vary depending on the region. Some areas focus on planting trees alongside major highways, while others adopt a checkerboard pattern of tree planting to mitigate wind erosion. 
In certain instances, planes are even deployed to scatter seeds over degraded grasslands. Moreover, Chinese researchers are exploring innovative techniques such as genetically engineered plants, chemical stabilization of dunes, and desert farming practices, including the cultivation of rice in arid environments. On the surface, the Great Green Wall appears to be a resounding success, offering hope of curbing China's relentless dust storms and mitigating carbon dioxide levels. However, the reality is more nuanced. Many of the trees planted as part of the project do not survive. In some areas, not a single tree endures after being planted, despite efforts to select the hardiest, most drought-resistant species available. A critical question arises. Can these trees thrive in the long term, or will they deplete the area's water resources? China must prioritize quality over quantity to ensure the project's longevity. Much of the newly planted forest consists of monoculture, where only one tree species is cultivated in an area. This lack of diversity renders the forest vulnerable to pests, diseases, and fluctuations in climate. For instance, in 2000, a billion poplar trees in northwestern China succumbed to a single disease, resulting in the loss of over a decade's worth of reforestation efforts, setting them almost 20 years back. Similar challenges have emerged in southwestern China, where misguided policies incentivized farmers to replace native vegetation with non-native trees for financial gain, exacerbating ecosystem degradation. Surprisingly, simple grassroots initiatives have shown promise. For instance, in the Tanger Desert, fencing off dry land and prohibiting grazing led to a significant increase in plant cover over five years. Another experiment demonstrated that by banning farming and sowing locally adapted grass seeds, shrubby black desert wormwood covered 60% of the desert within the same time frame, effectively slowing wind erosion. These examples underscore the importance of adopting context-specific, bottom-up approaches that prioritize ecosystem resilience and sustainability over large-scale, top-down interventions. As China continues its battle against desertification, embracing innovative community-driven solutions will be crucial for long-term success. This initiative not only enhances forest coverage, but also revitalizes ecosystems, leading to the restoration and expansion of 3 million hectares of wetlands. The scale of tree planting is monumental, with over 66 billion trees already planted. Beyond tree planting, scientific advancements complement the initiative's impact. Researchers from Chongqing Jiao Tong University have developed a groundbreaking solution utilizing plant cellulose to create a paste capable of transforming desert sands into fertile soil. An experiment in the Ulanbu, desert successfully converted 1.6 hectares of barren wasteland into cultivable land, demonstrating the potential of innovative techniques to address desertification and promote sustainable land use. The Great Green Wall Initiative has also spurred quick agricultural potential and innovation in afforestation and sand control techniques, such as drip irrigation and sand barriers. One notable achievement is the greening of the longest desert highway in Xinjiang with lush green forests. Moreover, recent technological advancements in freshwater and saltwater aquaculture have revolutionized the desert landscape. In China's Xinjiang Autonomous Region, innovative aquaculture techniques have led to remarkable breakthroughs in cultivating freshwater fish, tiger shrimp, abalone, and lobster in both freshwater and saltwater environments right in the heart of the desert. An exemplary success story is the Xinhang Aquaculture Company, founded in 2022, which successfully piloted a project to simulate seawater conditions in a desert fishing ground. Mr. Chen Zhen, the project leader, highlighted the natural salinity of southern Xinjiang saltwater, closely resembling that of seawater, facilitating the cultivation of a diverse range of seafood species. Technological advancements, such as liquid nano-clay and advanced center pivot irrigation techniques, offer promising solutions to desertification on a global scale. Now turning an arid desert wasteland into a flourishing oasis, who would have thought of harvesting tons of seafood from the desert?
China's ongoing success in greening deserts and transforming them into economically viable areas is a remarkable achievement that demonstrates the nation's strength and innovative capabilities. The concept of creating seas and deserts has intrigued scientists and visionaries for decades, with various ambitious proposals put forward throughout history, from flooding the Sahara Desert to the Plowshare Project in Egypt. Despite the challenges and setbacks faced by these ambitious plans, China is winning the war against desertification, and they have inspired creative thinking and sparked discussions about utilizing natural resources to combat desertification and address environmental challenges. China's efforts in greening deserts, particularly through initiatives like the Great Green Wall, serve as a model for sustainable land management and ecosystem restoration on a large scale. As the threat of desertification looms large globally, China's success in reclaiming desert land for productive use offers hope and inspiration for other countries facing similar challenges. By recognizing the interconnections between economy, society, and the environment, China has demonstrated a holistic approach to addressing complex environmental issues. The United Nations' recognition of desertification as a significant environmental challenge underscores the importance of collective action and innovative solutions in safeguarding our planet's resources. China's achievements in combating desertification not only benefit the nation but also contribute to global efforts to mitigate environmental degradation and ensure food security for future generations. What are your thoughts on China's remarkable success in greening deserts? Please share your thoughts and comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Tech Evolution Center for daily technology insights around the world.